Welcome back to Media Mesh, where I give you my unapologetic opinion on everything from music, movies, news, reality TV, and much more as we go down the rabbit hole in five minutes or less. Now, of course, everyone and their mama has an opinion about this situation. Everyone has seen it. But in just a few seconds, we're going to play what he has to say in regards to this case. Uh, the first thing I'm going to say is that I think it's a shame before God that Tiffany Haddish is trying to absolve herself from this situation in which she was very much a part of. There's no way in the world that she did not know what was going to take place in this film. So everyone, the from the producers, the cameraman, every single person involved with this production needs to be on the chopping block as well. So I'm not, um, you know, taking anything away from anyone's involvement. Of course, Harry Spears is at the forefront. Tiffany Haddish is at the forefront. But every single person involved with this needs to be in trouble. And it's clear this was not extortion. Now, the mom definitely was trying to get paid. So I am glad that the children themselves are in a position to where they can benefit. Now, granted, you can't take away the permanent scars that you have from someone taking advantage of you as a child, thanks to your mother and stupid people around her. But, you know, you can hit them where it hurts because it's definitely not cool for you to go off and become a movie star like Tiffany Haddish and then just totally brush you to the side like your life doesn't matter. And this is a shame. But let's take a look in uh, what this brother has to say. And um, for me, I did enjoy him on Mad TV. So I think he is talented as an impressionist, comedian, all that type of stuff. And it just, just boggles the mind to think that you'd have to go this far to try to get a laugh. It wasn't funny. Like, I don't know who laughed watching this. Even when you sat down to write this. Did you think that was funny? It simply wasn't funny. You could have had a little person or an adult playing a child if you wanted to make a statement, whatever. But I guess that's how it is sometime in Hollywood. You have to go to such extremes to try to be uh, provocative. But some things are off limits. So let's hear what he has to say. And you let me know in the comments if you give a damn, because uh, some people really don't care. And um, we all know that this stemmed from Lizzo. They went digging. You start talking about uh, the powers. Well, people that they want to keep up agendas like unhealthiness, obesity, uh, foolishness. Yeah, they're going to go dig and they're going to find something on you and and bury you. And that's exactly what happened here. So at the same time, he was a comedian. So you tell jokes as a comedian. We live in a world where you can't even tell a joke. Anyway, let's get into what he has to say. You guys let me know what you think. Nervous as much as I in the back of my mind, because I already felt like my career was over before all this. Uh, I thought I was blackballed and my shit was over. But I always said I felt like I was one thing away from the turnaround. But now with this, I'm almost certain uh, that Tombstone is written. But something, and maybe this is me being naive, maybe this is me being corny, but from the day my mother had my back and, and groomed me into this thing called showbiz, uh, I believed everything she said. I believed every word. I believed she's the reason why I'm here. So if the woman whose body I came out of says I'm gonna be all right, be all right. Then I, I, I. All right. So do you guys think he's going to be all right? Can you come back from something like this? Um, that will remain to be seen. Um, I think anything is possible, but. It's just it was just such in poor taste. It's like, man, uh, I just uh, like if anybody like gave me a script or something like that, I'm like, are you crazy? What are you thinking? Why? But the biggest thing, this is such a, a major issue in this country with trafficking and things like that. You just don't joke about certain things. So we will see what happens until next time. Peace and blessings.